What's good, YouTube? And we back out again with another reaction video, bro. Hope y'all enjoy. You know what I'm saying? The videos that been dropping, bro. Got some more content coming. Hopefully, that car show. Y'all should be seeing that in Atlanta. You feel me? If you're from Atlanta, tap in with me, man. Follow me on Instagram at Blur Heaven. You feel me? Nice, cool dude. Like if you get if you if you buy getting money, staying out of the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? You all you think you can go harder, bro. We'll yeah, be cool people, you know. I hit you, you come be in my video or whatever. That's it, bro. Nothing too major, bro. So if you're from the A, hit my phone because I'm trying to build my peoples in the A. So tap in with me. But top 10 scary time capsule that will be open in 2024. So, you know what I said, baby? Let's talk. Let's get into it, homie. Terrifying time capsules might be better off unopened. My name is AJ with Most Amazing, and these are the top 10 scary time capsules that will be opened in 2024. And number 10 is man, Satan's Tomb. Just weeks before New Year's, a bombing that came as a result of the Israeli Palestine War uncovered an ancient cave which is said to be a Luciferian tomb. Now, archaeologists haven't been able to conduct much research yet on account of the fact that this cave is in the middle of a war zone, but the details that have surfaced from this discovery so far are truly terrifying. The cave where they found this ominous tomb is like something straight out of a horror movie. I'm talking eerie darkness, effigies scattered all over the place, and satanic symbols like pentagrams etched into the walls. Just total spooky vibes. Yeah. Now, when the daring explorers cracked open the coffin that was inside of this cave, what they found inside was truly terrifying. It wasn't your run-of-the-mill bones or artifacts, no, no, no. This was something straight out of an ancient nightmare. Bones, sure, but not human ones. They looked unearthly, like some unknown species. Among these bones was an elongated skull adorned with seven horns, a skeletal structure that doesn't quite match up with anything in recorded okay. history. But that wasn't even the scariest bit. Apparently, every single person who was present inside the cave when the coffin was opened died within six days either taken out as casualties of war or succumbing to some sort of disease. Since then, the tomb has been resealed and the coffin has been taken to a local church for safekeeping until it's taken probably by the Vatican or something. But until then, they've got these remains under lock and key, pulling out all the stops like rituals, blessings, prayers, anything to keep whatever's in that tomb from causing any more chaos. At number nine is the Nostradamus time capsule. If you thought that the book of the prophecies of Nostradamus was eerie, just wait until we open this time capsules, which he explicitly instructed not to open until this year. You see, the Nostradamus time capsule isn't just some random find. It's got some serious historical weight. For those of you who don't know, Nostradamus was this dude from the 16th century, famous for predicting stuff with crazy accuracy. I'm talking major world events, wars, and yeah, oh, well, the even the end of days, which is why he was dubbed the Oracle of Doom. His writings were like the OG version of cryptic tweets but way more intense. Now the capsule itself, discovered by archaeologists only a decade ago, has been on lockdown mode since then, being stored in the Vatican in order to respect his wishes of keeping this tin box from being opened. And now it's finally making its grand debut in Europe later this year, specifically in France. Now people all over are buzzing about this because it's like a real lifetime mystery waiting to spill secrets about the future. Now some say this box might contain Nostradamus' extra intense predictions, like a direct director's cut of doom, like finding an ancient cheat sheet for surviving Armageddon, perhaps. The tension is real, and here we are, sitting on the edge of our seats, waiting to see if this 500-year-old prophet saw something that we don't. If you're enjoying the video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing the notification bell. At number 8 is Pandora's Box. Alright, so we all know the story about Pandora, right? She's given this box, or according to some Greek legends, a jar, which... Let's be real, doesn't sound as cool. And is ordered by the gods not to peek inside. But you know how the story goes. Curiosity gets the better of her, and she cracks open the lid. Next thing you know, from out of the box comes curses that floods the world with trouble, inflicting upon humanity the horrors that would plague us forever. Diseases. This is more nasty, man. Sheesh. 
talking about Bizzle and computer, bro. Like, let me let me ask y'all something real quick. Don't like when y'all say something, or you like look to buy something, bro. You get like at least five ads as soon as you load back into like your browser, Instagram, or TikTok. Like I'm talking, I've been talking about PCs for like past three days, so all I keep seeing is ads. I got an ad right now that says supercharged with G GeForce RTX. Like, come on, bro. They gotta be listening, bro. But it's an evil world, man. I tell you. Greed, sadness, you name it. Not exactly a happy ending. Now, fast forward to today in Athens, Greece, where archaeologists have allegedly hit the jackpot. In the evening of January 1st, buried in a hidden chamber in the Temple of Zeus, archaeologists stumbled upon this mysterious sealed jar that's given everybody the heebie-jeebies. But here's the twist. Authorities are totally spooked, because apparently they're convinced that this jar is a modern-day version of Pandora's box loaded with who knows what kind of horrors. So now there's this big debate. On one side, you've got science scientists and archaeologists itching to crack it open for research, you know, to satisfy that curiosity. On the other hand, we've got the authorities shaking in their boots, genuinely afraid of what might jump out if they do, and eager to not repeat history. It's like a real-life thriller, except this time, it's not just a story. This is actually happening, and folks are genuinely worried. At number seven is the fascist time capsule. Okay, so back in 2016 in Poland, archaeologists stumbled upon a time capsule from the World War II era, buried back in 1934. Mm. This capsule was like a time travel ticket to the past, buried deep under a hefty layer of concrete near a place called the Oldenburg Rosiness. Now this spot wasn't your typical hangout. It was where big shot fascists trained their officers, which was a big deal for them. Now when they finally cracked open this time capsule, it was like unearthing a history bomb. Inside were some pretty eerie things. We're talking about photos of the infamous dude with the mustache, newspaper clippings, and copies of the mustached leader's book, Mein uh... Kampf. And here's the kicker. The stuff inside was almost freakishly well preserved, like digging up pieces of history that still looked like they were fresh off the shelf. But here's where it gets seriously creepy. This place they were associated with, the camp, cost a staggering 20 million marks to build. And it was built tough with massive granite and all meant to train the next generation of Yahtzee big shots. But they had some pretty messed up entry requirements. You had to be a specific height, a certain age range, and meet their scary standard of being pure, which was... Super twisted. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. And number six is Einstein's letter for 6939. Back in 1939, Albert Einstein jotted down his thoughts for people who'd live thousands of years in the future, which he included in his contribution for the World Fair time capsule in 1939, meant to stay buried until its intended opening in 6939. But instead of just talking about the cool stuff he had at the time, the dude dug real deep. To summarize his wise yet disturbing words would be an injustice, so I'm just gonna read an excerpt for you. Our time is rich in inventive minds, the inventions of which could facilitate our lives considerably. We are crossing the seas and utilize power also in order to relieve humanity from all tiring muscular work. We have learned to fly and we are able to send messages and news without any difficulty over the entire world through electronic waves. However, the production and distribution of commodities mm. is entirely unorganized so that everybody must live in fear of being eliminated from the economic cycle, in this way suffering for the want of everything. Furthermore, people living in different countries eliminate each other at irregular time intervals, so that also for this reason, anyone who thinks about the future must live in fear and terror. At number five is the Zodiac Time Capsule, a time capsule buried by one of the most notoriously mysterious figures in criminal history, the Zodiac Killer. This ominous container is set to hold more than just the usual mementos. It's a chilling collection that includes meticulous records of his 37 victims and mind-bending ciphers supposedly unraveling his true identity. Despite countless attempts by skilled code breakers and experts, the Zodiac ciphers have remained unsolved, shrouding his true identity in an impenetrable cool. cloak of mystery. At number four is Al Capone's mm. time capsule. Al Capone, the big shot gangster from way back when, stashed away a time capsule and inside is set to hold more than just some trinkets. There could be all sorts of crazy treasures, not only a collection of his most prized possessions that he snatched in his heyday, but more importantly, documents spilling the secrets of his operation and plans on how to keep the crime wheel turning after he was gone. Talking about a treasure trove of stolen goods and intricate plans. 
plans. Now, Al Capone was a heavy-duty mobster, so his time capsule, which is held tightly by his family, might spill some serious beans, like blueprints of his illegal operations, details about his crew, and maybe even some wild personal <laughs> thoughts he had. At number three is the Dante Aguilari time capsule. So this dude online was helping out his grandma, which was a normal day, sorting through old stuff, until BAM! He stumbles upon this safe. Now, grandma's totally clueless about it. However, since neither of them knew the code, they resorted to breaking the safe open, revealing say, a time you know capsule that had been put together it. by an ancient relative, specifically his grandmother's grandmother, making the box at least four generations old. The first thing they found was a message, but it was a twist on a line from Dante's The Divine Comedy. Instead of the grim warning about giving up all hope, it talks about ditching regret. The line which originally reads, abandon all hope, ye who enter here, instead replaces the word hope with regret, which is a bit uplifting, I suppose. As they continued their discovery, they found a silk pouch with Chinese calligraphy written on it, which translates to double happiness. Inside the bag, they found items like a pen, a suede pouch, a plastic box, and an oil lamp, and then photos of their ancestors, a watch band loaded with stamps from around the world, and coins from everywhere imaginable. But among all these things was a lone key. No hints, no notes as to what the key opens, Magic. just, uh, key by itself. Who knows what the key opens and what the cryptic reference to Dante's Inferno was supposed to mean. Hopefully we'll find out this year. At number two is Nickelodeon's time capsule. Back in the rad 90s, Nickelodeon did something truly only awesome know, as they threw together a time capsule jam-packed with things that made that era tick. Thing. It was like they bottled up the whole vibe of the time. It included movies like Home Alone and Back to the Future, two huge hits at the time, but of course they were on those clunky VHS tapes. Music-wise, they had MC Hammer's Please Hammer Don't Hurt Em and the legendary Michael Jackson's dangerous album on shiny CDs. Then there were gadgets that were the absolute bomb back then, a Nintendo Game Boy, roller blades, and those iconic Reebok pump sneakers that everybody wanted to strut in. This time capsule was also serious business too. It had news reports about huge moments like the AIDS crisis, Desert Storm, and the fall of the Soviet Union, plus books covering history, comics, and even the Orlando TV guide for a specific week in 1992. It also included an actual piece of the Berlin Wall, not to forget toys like the Barbie doll, a skateboard, and snacks like Twinkies and bubblegum. They sealed this treasure trove in front of Nickelodeon Studios in 1992, but later moved it to Nickelodeon Suites Resorts. And they're planning to crack it open on April 30th, 2042, exactly 50 years after it was buried. At number one is Greg Wilkinson's letter. In 2017, a mind-boggling discovery happened in Sydney, Australia. A letter tucked away in a bathroom wall by a chap named Greg Wilkinson. Now, this wasn't your usual reminder or a casual note. No, no. It was a glimpse into the future penned by Greg back in April. 15, 1955. Greg spilled the beans on his life, dropping snapshots of his wedding day and casually mentioning the cost of bread and milk back in the 90s. Fractions of what it costs today. But what really gave people the heebie-jeebies was how Greg's tone got darker than a thriller novel. As he mused about the bleak AIDS situation and brace yourself, hinted at a potential global conflict linked to Islam, which, spoiler alert, stirred up a lot of chatter online. What's astonishing is how he nailed China's rise as an economic powerhouse. Back then, it wasn't a given. Folks on Facebook were blown away by Greg's clairvoyance. Now, the wildest part was that he typed that letter on a clunky laptop with just eight <laughs> megabytes of RAM. Nowadays, your average smartphone could put that it's old thing to shame faster than you could say future see. predictions, anybody? Right as now. always, if there's a time capsule yet to be opened in 2024 that you think I've missed, Dang. Yeah, that's crazy right there, man. A lot of caps. I'm really looking forward to that Nickelodeon. Y'all comment which one y'all looking forward to see open, bro. I want to see that Nickelodeon because, bro, I've been watching Home Alone and Back to the Future, but it was like years and years after it was already out. So I just want to know like how the world was when it dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like, the movie theaters was playing Home Alone, back, 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 back. Or whatever. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. Appreciate y'all coming through, man. And I see y'all on the next one. Peace.